Well, you know, you just go back and forth with names, right? Band names, you know, bouncing them off the wall. Well, that goes back to about 2000, uh, I think it was late 2008. We were doing this thing, uh, Attack of the Sloka, uh, Revenge of the Sloka and Attack of the Sloka. And uh, cause Sloka was in a band we had and uh, we had split it up and blah, blah, blah. And, and we'd go, okay, we're gonna be serious. And what's the band name? And of course, my brother always the guy with the band names because every band name he pretty much comes up with. And you know, we're in the rehearsal room, goes, Attack of the Rising, oh. guy and we know him you know it's amazing vocalist and then it was like okay we're, we're sitting we're blown away we're yeah. starting over with us do this and i said i'm gonna go ask him i never heard all he could say is no that was like what uh 2000 that's about two and a half years ago now yeah. i think something like that i don't know if like whatever it's behind skinnies when they had yeah, yeah, 2018 i think yeah. yeah and i said hey let's meet up and talk and i you know pitched him and 20 minutes into it, I'm in a talk of the right. <laughs> I'm in a talk. I'm like, fuck, cool, great. I, I think I can speak for my brother on this one. Hallelujah. You know? yeah, I mean, when I saw him, I was like, wow, this is the guy we need, you know?
sniff around for bass players 
at some point I went to the jams, you know, and I'm not going to go poach somebody else's bandmate. It wasn't a gig, but uh, all friend Jimmy said, oh, I know just, I can't do Jimmy, right? <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy Shilcox. Shilcox. Oh, Shilcox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know just the guy for you, you know, whatever. I can't do Jimmy. How does he do it? Yeah, Jimmy. Yeah. Jimmy Shilcox. Yeah. <laughs> and he introduced me to Mike, and I heard him playing. I'm like, oh, man, let's talk. And we started talking, and it was about old school punk and old school metal thrash. Right, and I happened to have my armored scene whatever thing on is all oh, we're saying we bonded over that and, and at the time he wasn't available but it's like okay and then we got mandrake and i said hey man I, you know got a hold of him i said hey we got mandrake we got clever yeah he's like well okay let's check this out <laughs> <laughs>
can to help you understand. But there's nothing else to say. I never wanted to be this way. Somehow I ended up this way. When I fall into this again I tried everything I can To help you understand But there's nothing else you say I never wanted to be this way I've seen Clever, again, out of the rainbow and up in the valley. Every time this guy was singing, it was blowing my mind. Okay, Priest, Iron Maiden, like, yeah. he nail it. And uh, so when Tony called me up and said, look, Clever is going to come in and, and, and sing, <laughs> I was like, dude, I'm coming in. I just, <laughs> I just what do I have to lose? I just want to hear what this cat sounds like. And uh, it was really good, but I, I, I almost right away I could tell a second guitar player would just totally fill it out and uh, yeah and, and that was the thing is it's always been a two guitar band since the beginning yeah uh, and I wanted to keep it that way um, and we you know I, I was always you know who fits right I don't know I know tons of guys but it's like you know who's the right fit and um, and we had closed a deal with Mike at the Armored Saint show uh, afterwards we kind of you know kind of closed a deal with them so he's we're jamming and he said to me uh, you know I got this guy I know him all my life he's it's like a brother, and I go, I completely trust you, so whatever works. Yeah, get them up. Why you bad? Why you mean? You're not clean. 
he calls me, right? And, um, and he's like, hey, man, so I just started this new project. Uh, I think you'd be perfect for it. And I, I, I was like, I got too much going on. <laughs> I, I can't, uh, no, I can't do it. Yeah, that's exactly, yeah. exactly what you said. Yeah, because we already had one thing going on, and I'm I'm already in another thing, and it's like I don't I don't think I got the time. I don't. So we'll just listen to the tunes. Just listen to the songs. Give it a right? chance. Songs, right? Yeah. Give it, give it. And it was only, and that thing was only started small, like only yeah. a few songs. But then I was there at the Armored Saint show too. So I right. met him. He was standing. You guys were after the show. You, you were standing outside talking to this guy, and I'm like, this creepy motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> this is and I gotta say this, when, when Billy popped in, you know, walked over, walked in the studio and plugged in and played, I was like, holy fucking shit, this is beautiful.
it's still that old school kind of thrash, heavy metal, but it really speaks to our influences, I think. Yeah, you know, yeah. Sure. Deep seated in fucking classic rock and classic yeah. metal, and, you know, so all these kind of different influences coming in and really kind of shaping the heavy fucking band that we are. 